we're trying to make changes in this plan that will move us towards a more home-based, preventative, um, uh, team-based type of care, which actually reduces burdens on the healthcare system. Angelia Paterai, a climate activist, promises a seven-point plan to deal with the province's health care crisis if she becomes leader of the BC NDP. She wants to give nurses a 25% raise, implement a full provincial safe supply program to help prevent overdose deaths, and scale up community health centres to replace urgent primary care centres. It will require public investment. That is my whole approach. We must invest in the systems that are essential to life and well-being. Meanwhile, David Eby, who stepped away from his role as Attorney General and Minister Responsible for Housing, has been on tour this week. He announced his housing platform after being criticized for not being visible enough during the leadership campaign. A Paterai's campaign has been active and even holding a fireside chat with UBC Professor of Climate Justice Naomi Klein. Some political watchers say her ideas are good. No, I, I think it was good that she brought in the health plan. Uh, I think it's... Uh got a lot of good ideas uh, in it. Uh, I think it's helpful for her in the campaign uh, as she tries to distinguish herself as more than a single issue candidate. But there are you know, some issues in there that uh, deserve some scrutiny. The race is heating up. The two leadership hopefuls could be facing off in the first debate on November 5th. That's if a Paterai isn't disqualified over membership issues. The NDP and Elections BC is looking into her membership signups and if some members are also members of the Green Party. Well, I support a respectful approaching of folks who are holding du dual memberships and asking them to choose. But beyond that, I don't support the assumption of fraud. We brought in thousands of new memberships to the party. It's a strange position for the new Democrats, which has been on its way to coronating EB as leader and premier. But clearly there's a constituency within the NDP and within the progressive left that sees something in her uh, 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 that she's tapped into. Uh, she appears to have uh, signed up uh, uh, quite a few members. The BC NDP says the work to verify the integrity of its membership list is ongoing. The party's provincial executive is set to meet next week. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.